Sincerely, you guys, I'm thoroughly impressed about this bread recipe that I found online. Um, it's a no-need recipe. I did it yesterday. It was really fast and really easy. I made two loaves yesterday. I'm gonna make two loaves now. So I decided to grab the camera and show you guys how, uh, how to do it and maybe you guys will wanna take it home and do the same thing and maybe you'll be as impressed as I am with this recipe. So they call it a no need, but I will say that there's a little bit of wrist action when you gotta kinda of fold it in and then there's a little bit of kneading here and there, but it's not like you gotta get in there and start working it like you're some sort of baker or whatever, you know what I mean? So super stoked on it and um, yeah, if you guys wanna check it out, stay tuned, let's go for a ride. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Cheers. This here. Here's the flight feathers. Ingredients. Three cups all-purpose flour. Quarter teaspoon of dry yeast. Teaspoon of salt. One and a half cups of water. Let's do it. Okay guys, you're gonna be blown away about how easy this is. Three cups of flour. One and a half cups of ripping hot water. Tap water, don't boil it, just super hot water. About a quarter teaspoon of dried yeast. And then about a teaspoon of salt. And then you're just gonna wanna fold this all in. And get your dough to about a shaggy-like consistency. That looks about right. At this point, Cover the dough, push it off to the side, let it sit for about three hours. Room temperature works good. See you back in about three. Okay guys, we're about an hour and a half in on that bread, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my oven, full whack, all the way up. All the way up I think is about 270 Celsius. And if you have this, I would suggest definitely using a cast iron with a lid or a Dutch oven. Um, they're probably the best tool to use for baking bread, uh, in my opinion, for a like, uh, wannabe home cook. We go ahead and throw in the um, cast iron. Make sure that thing is ripping hot by the time we're ready to go ahead and put that bread in it. All right, guys, it looks like the dough is ready. Check this out. Good indicator, bubbles. See those little bubbles popping up in there, the little holes? That means it's time for the next process. A little flour. Scrape it on out of the bowl. And now we're just gonna go ahead and turn it a couple times. Flip it over. Get your hands nice and floured up. This is a pretty hydrated dough. Lots of water in it, so it's super sticky. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and flour the top of this. Generous. Grab a bowl. A little baking paper. Throw this right in there. Cover it up and let it sit for about 20, 30 minutes. All right, 20 minutes later, We've got some action. Nice little blistering. It's alive for sure. All right guys, this is the sketch part. Taking out this cast iron that's been cooking at high heat for, God, I don't know, about an hour and a half. Oh my God. So we're gonna go ahead and drop the dough into the old cast iron. What's cool about this method is like you don't have to tamper with it too much. You just take it straight out. I don't know if you guys can see that. Just take it straight out of the that proofing bowl. I'm gonna drop it straight in, not to disturb it. Capper. And bake it for about 30 minutes, covered. Okay, 30 minutes up, let's check it out. Yes. 
So I'm not even gonna throw this thing back in because I like that nice light brown color. So let's let it cool down a little bit and then I'm gonna cut it in half and show you guys the reveal. The reveal. Okay guys, the taste test. Looks pretty good. Smells delicious. Yeah. It's great. What do you guys think? You guys like it? Yes! Yeah. All right. There we go. All right guys, thanks for watching. All the best. Till next time. Ciao, ciao.